In the concept we call abundance, there is a state of receiving from the stillness of the feminine. Why does she do this? To give later on. Think about it. An abundance of sperm cells pours in the stillness of an egg cell. Creation starts with the liquid. The flexibility of the feminine and her openness to receiving are crucial here. Again, for what? For creation. Because the qualified sperm combines with the egg. The first cell, the zygote, is formed. Now the woman inside her body is the one to nurture it. Where? In the womb space. Therefore, the concept we call abundance and blessing intertwine here. The dance of unity, possible only with the unity of masculine and the feminine. To achieve abundance, a person must heal their feminine side as well as her masculine side for it to multiply. The goddesses of abundance we have seen in the history are the ones who were able to embrace and honor their masculine side as well. Because in the end, from the zygote to when the baby opens its eyes to this wonderful world, the first home is a mother's womb. This can only be achieved when the masculine and the feminine coexist in the balance in the woman's body. Wanted to share with all my love.